Coming up today on Nick's Game & View, Assassin's Creed 3 sales figures released, PlayStation 2 emulation on PlayStation 3 given more notice, and Crisis 3 confirmed to be more open world than its predecessor. This is Nick's Game & View. Hello everyone and welcome to Nick's Game & View. You are here with your host, Nick McCandless. Assassin's Creed 3, unarguably one of the largest video game releases of 2012, has officially uncovered its sales figures exceeding expectations. Across both PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, Assassin's Creed 3 has sold over 3 million copies during its first week, which is a 40% increase over its predecessor, Assassin's Creed Revelations. While most third-party releases dominate on the Xbox 360 platform due to its larger market share, just 52% of the 3 million and sold were on 360, while the remaining 48% went to Sony's PlayStation 3. Sadly, the case does not exist on the Vita as just 100,000 copies were sold, but considering the much smaller market share of the recent portable platform, high sales figures were not to be expected. Speaking of PlayStation, the drop of support of PlayStation 2 emulation on the PlayStation 3 years ago still stings the hearts of many PlayStation gamers, but Sony seems to have taken notice with a recent job listing. Titled PlayStation 2 Emulation Debug Engineer, Sony is after a potential team member in Liverpool or London with experience in PlayStation 2 coding and proficient in C++ coding. Could this hint towards a stronger focus on bringing PlayStation 2 support back into PS3 via software despite the length of the PS3's life cycle? Seems a bit late to me personally but maybe we could see the entire library implemented within the PlayStation 4. Wrapping up Nick's Game & Views, Crytek, the developers behind the Crisis series, has announced that Crisis 3 will be more like the first in terms of open world gameplay after receiving much feedback in regards to how streamlined the second release was. Released in February of 2013, Crisis 3 is sure to be a release first person shooter fans can enjoy after the taste of Halo 4 and Call of Duty Black Ops 2 wear off. Well, that concludes today's episode of Nick's Game & View, but be sure to follow me on Twitter, at Nick McCandless, and check back daily for Nick's Game & View for your daily access pass to all things gaming.